This is the Department of Planning and Zoning's status report for April 11, 2017, the three-minute version. So where are we headed? The department collects lots of information for what is happening on the land in Queen Anne's County. Hey, you want to know the numbers? We have them for permits, for residential and commercial buildings. Since 2016, the county's commercial building permits have increased by 14% from the same period of the last year. The values of both residential and commercial permits for 2017 is up by $463,000. Queen Anne's County has demonstrated continued increase in its building permit numbers, including a steady increase from 2013, with the value of the permits going up as well. This information is available on the county's website where all permits are tracked for the public's information. Trending times, how technology has changed how we do business at planning and zoning. The department now uses tools that were not even available a few years ago to understand what is happening in the county. Here's a drone view of the courthouse as it is being built, showing the initial site and as the building is being raised. This information assists in the county being compliant with the town's rules and documents a major project in the county. This is possible with the drone men, Sam Stanton and Tyler piece from GIS. The Permit Division of Planning and Zoning is using QAC maps to assist citizens and their agents with quickly and efficiently applying for permits without the need for additional expense of hiring surveyors or taking the time to measure for sheds, buffer plantings, landscaping, and other permit needs. The availability of Queen Anne's County maps and the tools in the platform have made the department more efficient in reviewing and approving permits. Large properties with major operations occurring on them, such as mining, have required the county to hire surveyors to accurately assess the size of the disturbance and to determine whether violations have come into compliance. Understanding how a building will be placed on a site and viewing that building from all vantage points was not possible without a cherry picker and much expense until now. The GIS staff working with the planning department developed a 3D model of the proposed Denny's restaurant restaurant in Graysonville. This technology allowed the Planning Commission to view how the proposed restaurant would appear on the site and inspired many changes to the layout and access to improve both form and function of the building. The department is also engaged in contemplating the future, which is the mission of the Community and Environmental Planning Division. Anticipating the needs of citizens and how to prevent infrastructure shortages or damage while preparing for the next generation of county residents are some of the visioning avenues the division is focused on to be prepared for the future. As we create the next generation of planning, we are looking down the road in the county and honoring visions from the previous comprehensive plans to preserve Queen Anne's County as a quintessential rural agricultural county. While anticipating the needs and a changing community that is severely impacted by conditions for the most part created by bridges and corridors of through traffic and challenges the quality of life for Queen Anne's County citizens living from the Bay Bridge to the Route 5301 one split. The next level of planning will tackle this issue and proposes to conduct a U.S. 5301 corridor study to review land uses, buildings, and road circulation by following through on the Ken Island transportation plan to improve circulation and aesthetics of the gateway into Queen Anne's County. The next generation of planning will also need to address the increasingly more apparent issue of climate resiliency and adaptation. Areas of the county are currently experiencing what is known as sunny day flooding, which may occur when there is a combination of high tides, southeasterly winds, and the aftermath of a rainfall. Areas and roads that previously did not flood are now flooded on a, quote, sunny day. Department of Planning and Zoning, in partnership with our sister agencies of Information Technology, GIS, Public Works, and QAC-TV, will continue to create the future while being mindful of the county's past. For further information concerning activities of the Department of Planning and Zoning, please go to qac.org, the website for the county, and click on Planning and Zoning.